so the Bible says mercy triumph over judgment. Say to the guy next to you, thank you, talk. Mercy triumph over judgment. All of us deserve judgment. But Jesus was judged in our place on that terrible old cross that became to us a symbol of strength, victory, and life. Because on that cross, someone was nailed in our place representing us, becoming the biggest curse known to man, crucified and shredded to pieces in such a severe, cruel manner. We were supposed to be there, but he went in our place, and he was victorious. In our place, he went down to hell, in the middle of the earth, down to hell, which were created not for human beings, but for Satan and his angels and all those who follow him. Amen? Satan go next to you, listen careful. That place, hell, was not created for people. But for Satan and his devils and his fallen angels and all those who decide to follow Satan, human beings included. This is not God's will. This is human beings, their own decision. It should not be like this. Amen? Amen. So Jesus represented us on that terrible, horrible cross. Sometimes I look at Discovery Channel and things like that once in a blue moon. And you know, when I put it on, I put it on for a reason. It's always something about Jesus or the crucifixion or something like that. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. He paid a price for us. And before he paid that horrible cross, that price on that horrible cross, he was shredded to pieces with 39 lashes. There were no flesh on his back. His ribs were exposed. And every time they lashed him, he paid for a sickness so that we don't have to carry those sicknesses and those disease. The, the disease. Amen. 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 Then, after that, when he said it's finished, he went down to the middle of the earth as a victorious one, taking the authority and the keys of life and death took it back from Satan again, was raised from the dead, appeared to his apostles, and gave to his apostles again the keys and said, I give to you the keys of heaven. I give you the keys of life. And then he said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. It was always mine in heaven, but now on earth, I want it back from Satan, your enemy. And here is the authority. And we know that he breathed on them at one stage after he was raised from the dead. And then just before he went to heaven, he gave us a very clear command. As apostles, disciples, people of God, he gave us this clear command. He said, go to all nations. Teach them to observe everything I've commanded you. And baptize them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then he went up to heaven with that clear commandment that we should do these things. And today that command is still resting on the church of Jesus. No way of skipping it. No way of saying, oh, it is not my vision to reach the nations. This is the vision of the whole church of Jesus Christ globally. To reach the unreached, to encourage those who are struggling. Amen. Amen. Satan needs to no way that the church can escape this great commandment. We all got this commandment. You know, you came to this church as a helpless person. Some of you sick, some of you demon possessed, and Jesus said you're free. He heal you, he restore you, he encourage you, he fill you with faith for a reason. Not just go to go back and be a nice person and say, I am blessed. But to take in your place as a disciple maker and reach other people for Jesus Christ, even to the ends of the earth where we are definitely going. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will not stop. Satan wants to stop us. But I tell you, I ask the Lord to stop. Jesus on that love. Hallelujah. 
Because greater is he that is in us than him that's in the world. Satan is the god of this world, but he's defeated. He, there's many gods, but there's one God Almighty. Say to the guy next to you, take courage. God Almighty is on your side. You join yourself to him in faith. And you're on the winning side. And you are going somewhere. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's many gods, but there's one God Almighty. There's many lords, but there's one Lord of lords. There's many kings, but there's one King of kings. The Lord of heaven, the King of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 There's many Adams, but there's one Adam that gives life through the Spirit. Give him hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's even many messiahs. There was many messiahs, some false messiahs, some true messiahs. Moses was a type of messiah. Joshua was a type of messiah. Joseph was a type of messiah. David was a type of messiah. But there's one, the messiah. Give him an awesome man. In our life, we get false messiahs, we get true messiahs. But there's one, one messiah above all the others. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach. Give him an awesome hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today, you join yourself to him in faith so that you might become a partaker of his life, so that we might be a, a partaker of his responsibility. In Jesus' name. Just shortly, I don't share vision every Sunday, but when we planted this church many years ago, we shared vision a lot. So I'm just going to share a short little bit of vision where Jesus is taking us. The things that we receive here is not for ourselves only. Amen. Amen. Doesn't matter who you are. You come in this and you come in that. You come in here bound by demons. You come in here sick, some of you. Some of you come in here as addicts and some come in here as losers. And Jesus make you a winner. And he heal you. And he fill you with faith. And you stand up more than a conqueror. Not for the reason of just relaxing and say, Ah, I'm a nice Christian. This is to take what we've got to other people too. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say to God, to everything big starts small. You know, many people, they wait till there's big things, big money. Big buildings before they do something. You should not wait for the big things before you do something. Everything big starts small. Amen. And as you are faithful with the small things, God will increase. And he will bless you. So many people say, I will give my tithe one day when I've got lots of money. I will bless missionaries. Da, 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 da. You know, if you don't start small, you will never, never be able to bless many people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't start with missions or you don't start sharing the gospel with other people till you've, be, or, or you, you don't say, I, I'm going to share the gospel with other people if I've got a diploma one day. Say to God, you don't wait for a diploma. Don't wait for a degree. But you should share the gospel even now.